hey everyone this is akhil from install or not and this is the infinix smart 5a that's the latest budget smartphone from infinix so in this video we're going to test out the benchmarks of this device and also run some graphic intensive games and see how well does it perform so let's get started so first things first let's unbox the infinix smart 5a device and see what all do we have inside the box first thing that we see inside the box is the smartphone itself this is the cyan blue, blue color variant of the device and it has a plastic back finish and it looks really good and it's quite comfortable to hold in hand next in the box we have a wall adapter this is a standard wall adapter this is a 10 watt adapter that comes inside the box next we have a usb cable this is the micro usb cable that comes inside the box and it's not a usb type c next we have some documentations and we also have a hardback case it's a transparent case that comes bundled inside the box and we also have a screen protector that also comes inside the box and it's always great to have first party accessories like screen protector and a hardback case included inside the box Talking about the specifications of the Infinix Smart 5A, it features a 6.52 inches display. This is a 720p HD plus display with a 20 to 9 aspect ratio and it has a 2.5D curved glass at the front. Uh, in terms of processor, it's powered by a 1.8 GHz quad core processor. This is a MediaTek Helio A20 processor and it's a quite mediocre processor but at the price that the device comes at, it's quite decent to have this processor. In terms of RAM, you have 2 GB of RAM and there is 32 GB of internal storage as well. In terms of card slot, you get triple SIM card slot where two of them can be used to house SIM cards and there is another additional micro SD card slot that can be used to expand the storage up to 256 GB. Uh, in terms of battery, you have a 5000 mAh battery and there is support for dual 4G LTE, there is a 3.5mm audio jack as well, and there is a rear mounted fingerprint sensor and there is also support for DTS HD surround sound. Uh, in terms of camera, you have a dual camera setup at the rear. The first is a primary 8MP camera with f2.0 aperture and has a triple LED flash and there is also a secondary depth sensor to capture bokeh shots. Okay, and the front you have a 8 megapixel camera. This is a f2.0 aperture camera and also has a dual LED flash. So that's all we have for the specifications of the Infinix Smart 5A. Now let's run some benchmarking apps like ANT2 and Geekbench. So here are the results of ANT2 and Geekbench, and the results are quite decent for the price the device comes at. So now let's try out the gaming performance on the Infinix Smart 5A and see how well does it perform and let's try out the BGMI that's PUBG Mobile for India and let's see how well does it perform for the lowest possible to the highest possible graphic settings and see if there are any frame lags or does the device heat or not. So let's jump dive into the gaming performance and see how well does the Infinix Smart 5A handle the PUBG Mobile India performance. So let's just dive into the gaming performance of the Infinix Smart 5A.